All right, what's going on, YouTube? It's DJ Krios here, and we are going to be talking about something pretty exciting today. It's how are we going to use our 32-bit VSTs in our 64-bit computer? Um, this is something I had worried about when I switched over from a new computer to my other one. I had there's so many different good VSTs and virtual instruments out there uh, that are free for 32-bit, and you're just not going to get them to work without some kind of a converter. So today we are talking about JBridge. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you can go over to JBridge, uh, jstuff.wordpress.com. You can see here, I'll put a link in. I do believe they have uh, for Mac too. That's kind of cool, awesome. And I believe this cost uh, 1499 so 15 pounds whatever that comes out to in American dollars I don't know exactly what that is but it's very cool and very worth it uh, that you can change your 32 actually what this does is it takes your 32 bit VSTs converts them somehow to 64 bit and then shoves them into your 64 bit folder we're gonna take a look and see how that goes so we're going to go over to live real quick just to show you um, some of the ones I've pulled up. So we got Window to Europe. This is kind of a more popular one, I would say. And everything just works fine. You can see that JBridge has its own little wrapper down here. And so you have some settings in here that you can play around with. I haven't really played around with these settings, so... Whatever it does at first seems to work just fine for what I need. I haven't had to, to dig into that uh, yet, so if you're looking for something more, you can check that out. So, yeah. Um, Alien, it's another one. Well, let's window to Europe, so let's go to Alien. There's just a lot of cool 32-bit VSTs out there, and you know that kind of sound is definitely making a comeback right now. Uh, Osiris, I like this one, but there was no save the setting. Uh, I mean, it will save it once you find that sound that you want on your track. It's kind of cool, but you can't save your own presets. Uh, but you definitely get some cool sounds. So yeah, another replicate. Uh, this is cool too. This one has the uh, kind of four generators that mix together for some real crazy scoring type of sounds. I'm just kind of going through and let you see that I do have 32-bit VSTs working in here. Okay, so now we need to learn how that is going on. So you can see in my preferences here, file folder, I only have the one here. So I use a custom folder. It's a program files VST. So there's no fancy trickery going on here. So what do we do here? So like, okay, so you go get your 32-bit uh, VST and you put them in your 32-bit folder. So let's go take a look over here. We can go into OS. So 32-bit would go into your 64 or the 86 here. And I usually I usually write a name. I usually put an AAA VST, so it's like the first thing, because it's one of the things I mess with a lot in there, uh, more than any other files. I'm usually playing around with this. So I have one for my 32-bit called AAAA VST, cause it, so it shows up first on the list. And you can see that I have uh, these guys in here. Um, you know, Some of them give you a 32-bit option, so I throw them here anyway. So here they are. Um, they're sitting in here, but that's not my folder that I have. So if we come out of here, and that's not my main folder in Ableton anyway, is what I meant to say. So if we go, go up here, we're going to see where Ableton is picking up everything. It's uh, in VST plugins. Um, so here we go. It's uh, quite a bigger bigger list. So how do we get them there? So what we're going to do is we're going to open up. You're going to go down and, and download and pay for JBridge and get it off of this site. 
And he, and I don't think it's immediately, but he sends you a email with a password uh, to download it. And then you just open it up and kind of, um, and, and you're going to see what it's going to look like when you open it up here. So we're going to go get JBridge and open this bad boy up and see what our options are. So we're going to click, go ahead on this. Uh, it's going to ask you which way you want to convert. So I guess it does it the opposite way too. Um, I'm not exactly sure on that. I should have just read it. probably says it on the site, but um, I'll be using a 64-bit host. Um, most of us are going to be using this to convert it back the other way, uh, to forward, not backwards. Um, if you're wanting to convert a whole bunch of 64 to 32 bit on your 32 bit computer, then I don't know, man. Have fun. <laughs> so, here, let's uh, go ahead and choose. I'll be using a 64 bit host. Okay, uh, I think we can keep everything on here. Confirm each individual file. No, we don't need all that. Uh, replicate subdirectory. Yep. Uh... So uh, replicate it. So, so we can see the files in the in the same folder. So when you see that I open up the folder that is my 64-bit, you would have seen the same. It patched them over there. So uh, create bridging files inside directory. I'll specify. Highly recommended. Um, okay. So and choose a file creation method. So we're gonna. So if you hit here. It's going to ask you step select VST plugins to be scanned. So we're going to go to our 32-bit VST directory, which 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 would be the AA VST, and you would hit OK. Now it scanned them. Now it's going to ask you select your destination folder. So our destination would be where we keep our 64-bit VSTs, which would be in the program files above it, which would be VST, uh, VST plugins. So I've already done this. I don't think it's going to hurt if I do it again. So we can just hit OK. So now it's just taking and analyzing everything in your 32-bit folder and converting it over to a 64-bit or, or wrapping it in a 64-bit wrapper. So your doll, when it opens it up, that it, it, it knows that it's going to open it up with the J-Bridge. So J-Bridge kind of puts its own little wrapper around it and sticks it in your 64-bit folder and lets your doll open it up. So this is going to go on. I'll probably uh, 30 files have been bridged. Directory point your VST host to the directory where your files were placed. Okay. So of course, uh, hopefully you've already done that. So when you open up your doll again, it should automatically scan for these things. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's close the program. It's not responding because of all this other crap that I've done. All right. So. We're just going to open up live again. We're going to let it do its scan. It's probably going to find a bunch of the same things. I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to put up multiple of the same things now because I haven't done that scan since it's been a long time since I've done that scan. So I thought I would do unexpectedly quit. No, we don't need a, to redo it. Creating a new live set. Boom. There we go. And you can see that we have, uh, and I mean, it's not going to, um, they're going to look just the same. They're going to be in the same list. They're not in a separate area or they look anything different. So you can see over here in my VST section, we have that open. Here they are, window to Europe. We can drag that over. Uh, you know, laser is kind of cool. These are just some ones that I've picked out. Uh, and put over. I've been playing with a lot of new VSDs lately, so very cool. So for whatever that is, for uh, 15 pounds, um, I, I don't know what that converts to, but it's to me it was worth it. I think it was like $25. I, I do believe. I, I think it goes up uh, for American dollars. I I, I want to say uh, you're definitely gonna have to let your bank know that you're spending money out of uh, the country first uh, I've been dealing with that lately so very awesome product JBridge it's gonna turn your 32-bit VSDs into uh, usable uh, instruments for you in your 64-bit host uh, very cool product it's very easy to use I had seen it before and was very scared to use that but uh, it's totally worth it uh, to have these free VSTs at your 
at your arsenal. And there's so many plugins, uh, boutique and free v uh, VST Planet. Uh, just type in free VST and you'll 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 get a whole slew of them. But I think VST Planet is one of my safe ones, and um, definitely you can go there and find all kinds of cool different things that you are gonna fall in love with. Um, so yeah, DJ Krios here. Please like and subscribe. And we will be going down all these VSTs in my list and talking about them. I've been doing Max for Live packs recently, but I thought this was an important thing to say to people and to get this out. So thanks for stopping by.